We believe Jesus Christ is the hope of salvation for all, and that every man, woman, and child in the world must have a chance to hear his gospel. For 74 years, FEBC has broadcast the good news to people right where they are, on the devices that they use, and we've had a focus on Asia, the region which encompasses 95% of the least reached people on the planet. Today, four billion people are within reach of FEBC broadcasts. Men, women, and children are listening right now in over 120 languages to programs created by a local believer. In the last five years alone, we've received more than 10 million responses to our gospel programs across 49 countries. In 1945, three men founded the Far East Broadcasting Company with an audacious goal, to preach the gospel inside China using an emerging technology called radio. But for years, they received no responses from listeners in China. Was anyone even listening? But the faith of FEBC's founders was unwavering, and by the 1970s, China opened and responses flew in, first by the thousands and then by the millions. And now, you see the Christian communities inside China. So amazing. In the 80s, FEBC made international headlines with a 300,000-person mass conversion to the Christian faith among Asia's Hmong people. In the 90s, FEBC presence was established in post-Soviet countries like Russia. In the 2000s, Mongolia had gone from 20 Christians to 40,000 in two decades. In the 2010s, FEBC has seen immense growth in Central Asia, with five new stations and millions within reach 24 hours a day in Kyrgyzstan alone. This miraculous growth has expanded to nearly 50 countries today, all while seeing continued growth in FEBC's core ministry to China and many other regions in Asia and the 1040 window. In 1945, people were listening to God's word through radio by the millions. Today, the potential audience is in the billions. FEBC is constantly researching what device people are using to listen, and we meet them there. Our programs are optimized for internet streaming, social media, and for mobile devices, and the response online is staggering. FEBC Russia received over a million responses last year online. FEBC Korea estimates last year's online audience at over 10 million listeners. Listeners in China are downloading Christian content through our apps over 13 million times a year. That's more engagement than the largest social media account in the world receives. Far beyond the urban areas where our listeners stream internet radio, there's millions who have never heard about Jesus. They are truly the hardest to reach. We have a 300 million gods, but I never knew who is Jesus Christ. Radio atau siaran-siaran yang bisa membantu untuk pertumbuhan iman mereka. We're constantly looking for new ways to reach the furthest forgotten areas, like in Indonesia, one of the most heavily forested regions on Earth. This is where we recently put gospel content on over a hundred rural radio stations. One of the greatest challenges our ministry faces is persecution. FEBC serves in 18 countries that have now been placed on the world watch list most dangerous places to follow Jesus Christ. I've witnessed it personally. I've met with North Korean refugees fleeing for their lives. I've met with pastors and churches in Pakistan and Kyrgyzstan who have been bombed because of proclamation of the gospel. We were strictly forbidden to use the name of Christ Sering Alkitab yang dia baca dirampas, dibuang, diancurin, dilempar. Tapi Lenda saya lihat sungguh luar biasa. Dia tetap setia, masih tetap sembunyi-sembunyi baca Alkitab. These are the stories that inspire us, that drive us, that keep us going full speed ahead toward our 74-year-old mission to boldly proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and salvation through him. Was, 
что я его знаю, того Бога. There's still so many men, women and children who are desperate to hear about Jesus for the very first time. So we will press on in the remote villages, in the forgotten places, amongst the persecuted believers and to the hardest to reach until all have heard.